Hey guys, so Dark Visions um, is back up. Air Dark Visions number three, area three is now open. This was bugged for a while, it got taken down. They brought it back up, they fixed the scores. Uh, so let's go ahead and start area three finally. So we're gonna be doing a magical beast killing fire team on this first run. It's gonna be Aurora Freavia, who's gonna be chaining Absolute Mirror with our C card, who's gonna chain Absolute Mirror. He's dual wielding. He's got Nethysite and he's full evasion for covering. Uh, Quistus is gonna be our finisher on turn six. She's gonna be doing beast killing with her finishing move. Zon is gonna <clears throat> do Nethysite as well as just the usual Zon things. Uh, Elena is going to be a chainer with Zon. We're gonna do Blade of Crystal. And then Sid's going to be our Fire Imbue, as well as Nethysite and Beast Killing buff. Alright, let's get in here. So this guy does Ice AoE and Physical AoE and Ice Magic. But the Magic can be Nethysited, so that'll make it nice and easy for us. So let's see here. So we're going to start with Sid, who is going to um, Beast Spindle for now. Let's see, Freavia, we'll just use Double Flash. Get her power-ups going. Sieg will cover. Let's see, Elena can guard, Quistus can guard. Oh no, we need to, uh, let's see. Double up. No, it's not gonna work, damn it. All right, we'll do that next turn, it's fine. All right, let's have Zond, I, I did this wrong. Let's steal the buff from Freavia and uh, Zahn will Nethysite. And Elena will guard. Yeah, this is my mistake. Alright. Um, let's drop. Let's see. So Zahn will catch me if you can. He will... Steal the kill, not catch me, whoops. Reflector, we will steal the killer from Sid, we'll refresh the killer on himself, and we'll net the site. Um, let's see, free of you. Can just guard, let's see, Quistus can guard. Uh, Sieg can dual wield AR with Elena, who will double cast it. And we'll go ahead and get that chain count mission out of the way. Okay, we're not going to do a 100 point chain on the final turn. Alright, Sieg, let's go ahead and refresh your cover here. Uh, Sid can imbue fire. Let's see, Zahn can reflector. Let's keep the buffs refreshed on himself. Let's copy the fire imbue and let's Nethysite again. And we can just guard all these. Yeah, so anyway, we're, we're evade covering all the physical and we're Nethysiting all the magic. So we're taking zero damage without having to bother with resist and, and without, 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 without having to worry about these in perils. All right, so Zahn's got all his buffs good to go. So now Sid can just Nethysite every turn. We'll do it. We'll do it with Sieg as well, just in case. All right, Elena can Twilight Aurora Arts and wrong skill. Twilight Aurora. It's Starlight, isn't it? Starlight Aurora Arts and Way of the Aurora. All right, Freya, we can guard. We can guard. And Zon can Reflector Elemental himself. Critical himself and lots of Nethysites. I'm not sure how many times the boss does magic, but we're Nethysiting multiple times. I, th I think once is enough. We're doing it a bunch just to be safe. Alright. Uh, let's LB her. Let's go ahead and get free of you ready for next turn. Alright, see, so you can just refresh cover here. Sid can net the site. Quistus will imperil fire for us for next turn. 
Alright, and now Zahn will double up. Projected and Thief. Wait for Quistus to finish, but I don't want to deal much damage to this guy yet. Alright. And now it's time to kill. Alright, Sid's not going to participate this turn. Let's see, Quistus is going to homing laser. Elena is going to triple blade of crystal. Zahn is going to triple blade of crystal, or triple bolting strike. Uh, Sieg will double cast absolute mirror with free idea, who can only double cast, unfortunately, because Sieg can't triple. Alright, let's go. Hopefully we did good damage. A lot of setup. <laughs> yeah, I tried pulling for selfie briefly. If you saw my pull video for the anniversary stuff, it didn't it didn't work out. Ah, uh, whatever. So we got a perfect score other than damage. So we got four out of five perfect categories. Really slow. Hey, 15. That's not terrible. That's really not. Alright. Time to set up the team for the next fight. See you guys in a moment. Alright guys, next up is a Insect Week 2 Physical Dark. So we're going to be using this team. And we're going for a turn 1 kill this time. I'm not sure if we're going to get a cap damage because of that. But uh, this guy does non-elemental magic. I don't know when... But just in case, we're going to kill him on turn one, and I might come back later and play with it. I'm kind of in a rush right now. So Leon's going to be doing breaks, imbues, and in peril. Regina is going to cap with lots of bug killer. Cloud's going to cap with lots of bug killer. Um, he's got the Iga Blade and all. Zahn is just going to spread. His gear is mostly irrelevant. This is a turn one clear. By the way, don't forget you can use Fenris Energy for a permanent 200% attack buff on your Zahn. Super good for this kind of turn one stuff. Uh, Roberta is going to chain AR for the chain score, along with Onion, chain AR for the chain score. It's going to be a turn one max chain, no damage taken, lots of elemental weaknesses or whatever. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure when this guy does non-elemental magic. I haven't had time to play with him because of the, the you know, dark vision bugs and it just came back up, etc. But I'll play with him more later tonight when I get back home. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Regina will power up. So Leon broke the boss's defense, imbued himself, and imperiled the, the boss to dark. Alright, let's chain. And then AR... And AR. Aurora Ray. Alright, so we're going to Elemental Leon. We're going to Survival Leon. Or er, Survival doesn't even matter. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to project it. Alright, so we're going to send Regina. Wait, one, two. Let's send everyone else. Hopefully we got a good damage score. Maybe even capped, if I'm lucky. Oh, didn't cap. No, we, we gotta do the, the, the long-term setup to cap on these guys. Alright, I'll come back to that later tonight. That was just a quick and easy get in there and knock it out. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna have to bring in Sid, maybe Yuri for some killers. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out when I have more time. Let's see our score before, before we move to the next one and try to speed this along. Uh, I mean, 14k. It's not the worst. New record. Beautiful. Alright, rank 100. Ah, uh, let me regear the team and we'll do the next fight. See you in a moment. Hey there, guys. Boss 3 3 is not cooperating. This team is not a good team for this. Uh, the team I had planned, I killed him. It was a bad score. We're going to try it one more time um, with this. We're going to use C card with evasion and. Uh, Holy Resist, Zahn's got a bunch of Holy Resist and Evasion. Quistus has no Holy Resist. She'll be a finisher for the team. Shantoto is going to be a finisher as or a chainer. Um, she has no Holy Resist either. 
Kefka does have Holy Resist. He's got Dual Cast and Judgment Staff for Dispelling. And then Rab is going to be a Dark Imbue and um, Undead Killer buffer. Alright, so this boss does an attack that ignores Provoke. It does holy damage. And I'm just rolling the dice and hoping that he doesn't pick Quistus or Shantoto. Uh, if he does, I'll just have to come back later and deal with it. Change the team, give them holy resist or something. But in any case, we're just going to hope and pray the boss doesn't pick them. If he picks anyone else, they're all immune to holy. Yes, yeah, so we're just waiting until turn six. This team is not recommended if you're doing this fight yourself. Yeah, this is like my fourth or fifth attempt, hoping he'd hoping he get good RNG with the Ignore Provoke attack. Hasn't worked out yet. Alright. Just keep guarding. Here it is. Oh, we got double, double C card. Outstanding. We didn't get a... Uh... That's a first. Okay. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good. So we, we might be okay here. Let's go ahead and cure that in peril with double Dispelga on Kefka. And peril's gone. All right. Let's stylish form. Let's white wind for the mana regen. Let's go ahead and LB with uh, Rab. Let's have Shantoto do Play Rough, Subtle Sorcery, and... Um, what is Mana Wall? Alright. We are looking better. Alright, let's Reflector. Uh, let's go ahead and critical Shantoto, critical Rab, and that's all that really matters, actually. It doesn't matter. Okay, he's going to do it again on turn five, which is going to be a problem. But if he doesn't pick our two DPS, we'll be okay. Yeah, we're just rolling the dice here, you know. YOLO. Let's imbue Dark to Zahn. Let's have Zahn spread and break. Let's see, can just cover. Uh, Kefka can, doesn't matter. Shantoto will in peril Cascade and. It doesn't matter, just in peril and Cascade. Oh, we can do Mana Wall. In peril, cascade, mana wall, guard, and guard. All right, please don't pick Quistus or Shantoto for the stupid attack. Okay, Sieg, and looks like Kefka. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. That was worth the like hundred energy to. Keep trying this till the RNG worked out for me. <laughs> All right, and then chaos, chaos. We'll just guard you. Quistus will homing, homing laser, and Zon will double AR for the chain score with C card AR. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's a low score, but it's way better than what it was last time. When I had deaths and everything. <laughs> Ooh, mages. Alright, so that took about 100 energy just randomly rolling the dice until he didn't pick my people without holy resist. Yeah. I could probably even improve that even more. Maybe. I'll have to think about it, but... I spent way more time than I wanted on that guy. I mean, okay. 
Whatever. Whatever. Alright, two more bosses to go. Uh, and they're both physical, which shouldn't be the worst. Okay, I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, this is apparently another fight that yeah, has tricks I didn't I didn't expect. Um, I'm going to have to go back later and try him again, but we're going to just go for a quick turn 3 kill. Uh, on turn 3, he ignores cover. I didn't realize that. So we're going to use Sid. I was going to steal Sid's killer buff and then jump and then do it on turn 5, but because the boss kills me on turn 3, I can't do that. So we're going to do C card instead to cover magic. Um, Cloud's going to cap, blah, blah. Uh, Zahn is going to do his thing uh, with evasion provoke. Adele is going to be our killer buff. And then Onion is going to be uh, a chainer as well. Okay, and I got um, Adele's using the material for Mirage. All right. Yeah, the these bosses, man, they ruined my plans. I had all these teams planned out, and they're like, oh, we just ignore cover. Surprise. <laughs> oh, we ignore provoke. Surprise. Yep. And of course on the Japanese server, I just like put in no effort on this, so I didn't I didn't even I didn't even know they did that. Anyway. So, uh, Sid's going to give us Mirage on turn 1, so we don't need it from Adele. So, Adele on turn 1 is going to power herself up and do a small Beast Killer buff. Not as big as the one I wanted. Uh, how long is Adele's Beast Killer buff? It's 3 turns. She'll have it next turn. That's good. Alright, Cloud is just going to full throttle. Sieg is going to cover Magic. And, oh, that doesn't work either. Son of a... It doesn't work. Well, we don't have a choice. Okay, we're doing it. So I'm not going to get a perfect chain score either. I just realized that. Yep. So pre-cooking. And fire and peril. Alright, so Zahn, we're going to steal... Critical buff from Adele, from Cloud, and Onion, whatever. Yep, we're going to get a, a bad change. I'm going to have to rebuild this entire team from scratch as well. This is going to be like the first run video. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Sieg's got to imbue fire. Onion's got a LB. Sid's got a jump, but not yet. Oh, I can't even I can't even do the break this turn. Seriously? We need Mirage. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't even work. Zahn, we've got an elemental on Sieg for the imbue. Uh, spread and yep it's the best I can do jump because now I had now I have to break with Zon Oh, actually, I can break with S I can break with Sieg. It's not quite as good, but then Zahn can change. I think it'll be better that way. Yeah, we're gonna break with Sieg. Whatever. What is higher, block charm or uh, full break charm? Where's where is full break charm? Oh, there it is, full break charm. We'll just do that. Whatever. Alright, so Zahn's going to chain this turn like I originally planned. We're still not going to get a perfect chain score. This whole team is falling apart. Nothing is going the way I planned it.
Alright. Yeah. 96 chain. We didn't get a perfect chain score. This is... I gotta go back to the drawing board for all these. Ooh, a damage. So I'm gonna need a resist buff. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to re replan the entire team. Yeah, that's gonna definitely have to be redone. Alright. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not acceptable. I can, I can do way better than that on a physical fight. Especially a beast physical fight. Give me a break. I should... I should... Alright. I'm gonna get to the last fight. And then I'm gonna sit down later tonight and figure out all these problems. I'll see you guys in a moment for the final fight. Alright guys, last up is Dark Alexander, a machine worked weak to physical lightning. Um, <laughs> my past few teams have not been working, so let's see if the Alexander team that I planned will work out or not. Uh, we're going to be doing Sid for capping on turn 3, along with Regina for those sweet machine buffs. Um, Cloud for the things he does. Yeah. Uh, Sylvie for imbuing lightning and those 300% um, attack buffs. Also, she's going to be doing 100% holy resist, which is important. Uh, Zahn for provoking evasion and chaining. And then lightning for imperiling and chaining as well. We'll be chaining absolute or aurora ray with lightning and Zahn. We're going for a turn three clear. I'm not doing any kind of craziness. My silly ideas have not worked out. <laughs> All right. So the whole team, I should have mentioned, I didn't, didn't even mention this. The whole team has 90 or higher uh, holy resist, by the way. So with Sylvie's buff, that'll be 190%. All right, so the boss has two turns of mitigation, which is fine. We're killing him on three. So, so Sky Dragon Squall, Lightning will Jumble Distalt, um, these two, uh, let's see, Cloud will Full Throttle, will just Machine Killer with Regina. All right, Sylvie is going to triple. We're going to um, let's see. We need we need holy resist. That's got to happen. Let's add lightning to Zon. Let's holy resist, and we'll do a small attack buff. I don't want to do the big attack buff yet because I might want to dispel the boss next turn if he does a barrier. I don't know if he's doing a barrier or not. All right, let's uh let's reflector. Let's steal the killer from Regina. Uh, we'll steal the killer from Cloud in case, in case Sylvie's busy. And we've already got the imbue, so yeah. Imbue ourselves. Okay. We're immune to everything with the holy, the holy resist. Focusing the power of light. We don't really care about that. Alright. Um, okay, so I guess we are doing the breaks this turn. Uh, let's just do hop into battle. Boost attack on Zon. That'll also break the boss's defense. Uh, lightning will imperil the boss. Let's see. Now Zon will... I guess Thief in the Night is kind of irrelevant there. But whatever, doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump Sid. And just wait these two. Yep, holy resist, we're fine. Beam of judgment, we should be fine. Yep, immune. Immune. Okay. Yeah, this works out good. And then holy, which we're still immune to. So is Alexander really gonna be the easiest? Of all the bosses. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
Regina. One, two, three, four. Cap. Cloud. Zahn is going to double up AR with Lightning. Who we'll just dual wield it. And then Sylvie. Uh, I can discard. Yeah. Alright, so Regina, start one to send everyone else. Drop Sid. Oh, wow. Is this dude tanky or what? Holy. Okay, well. We killed him. Ooh, that score. That is not good. Oh, well, whatever. It's good enough. Alright. Ugh. Nasty. So that was the final rank. Oh, rank 11. Very nice. Now that I'm done. Um, that I'll probably go down. But then again, I gotta have to, I have to, I have to improve, I have to really improve some of my fights. Uh, my fight, um, my 3-4, my 3-3, three, three, my 3, yeah, I gotta, I gotta improve that a whole bunch. And then, um, I never did go back to Phoenix after that first clear, and my Phoenix clear is not optimal either. Yeah, I gotta fix that as well. I chained the wrong element on Phoenix. I never went back because the, the event got taken down. Uh, but there we go. I'll possibly put up a cleaner video later, or I might just forget about it. We'll see. We'll see. See you guys next time. There was Dark Visions number three for Global.